Hello and welcome to another VOVR tutorial. We'll be showing how to work with uh, Canon RF52 uh, dual fisheye lens footage. And uh, what I imported here, you will see I have a footage from the camera. I in exported a single frame, so we work faster. And here we have an actual preset uh, supplied by SGO company. You can simply Google SGO rig presets and there, there you'll find uh, these uh, presets to download and you can use it in your project. So let's apply uh, the presets, let's duplicate the footage and you'll see if you click inside that we have a pretty good starting position. Uh, one thing I noticed that uh, if we go to camera and we go to a single input that this circle is not actually centered pretty well. Uh, so let's try to fix this. Let's go 0 0.5 and let's check the other camera. So let's just look for the first like this. This looks a bit better. And now we can just check. Next, let's disable one input, and you'll see that uh, it looks better. Another thing we can fix in this case that um, the wall is pretty close, so we can fix the uh, the yaw balance. So let's get it closer, maybe something like this, and. One thing on the edges, we can maybe fix a bit of coaxial distance, something like this. And let's check now. Uh, this is pretty good stereo. And we can go from here. Uh, another thing we like to do at uh, DVR is uh, remove the lenses. So let's check how this is done. For this, we will use uh, the footage and a simple layering composition and for this we will need uh, three layers so let's add three layers and uh, how we will do it is to simply move this part of the image mask it out move it here and cover this lens with the footage that has no lens for this we will use the framing attack so let's add framing and let's go inside so let's work on the bottom layer let's just add so we have three layers uh, let's work on the bottom one and let's decide okay we want to move this part over here and we just go offset and do it roughly like this and now we need a mask it so let's go to mask uh, draw mask we can fix it later so it doesn't Precise and we can move it outside, select these three points and do a feather so it's not a sharp transition. And now we can check closely. Uh, let's first fix the offset by X. So let's see this plastic part and let's just overlap like this. And we can check top bottom, we can just scale it a bit down like this and if we check we have a pretty good replacement for our lens and now we need to re repeat this for the other part so let's go layer up and let's move it to the other side and we can actually just copy and invert this I mean neg negate this value we can also copy the mask so let's copy other effect and let's paste move it around like this let's position over okay and we should be actually done so you see we have a nice clean uh, footage without the lenses and we can go back and now one simple uh, thing to do is to group this so we don't have uh, 
so many players. Let's duplicate and replace. And you're left with a pretty good uh, footage that you can use. You can check in here, everything is nice and uh, straight. And the last thing you can do is do some color grade. You can use the files provided by uh, Canon. And let's pick the black white or oh, maybe not in the VR but let's do it here let's pick the white maybe not much yeah more yeah this looks pretty okay you can of course fix that and uh, you're basically good to go so one thing to note is when you go to output, be sure to select the stereo mode side by side so it will render correctly and you're good to go to render. Hope this uh, tutorial helps you out and see you next time. Bye bye.